Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Arfia and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this eye and lip look. And for this look I have used mostly notoriously morbid products. The showstopper of this look is this gorgeous shade. It is called Asset Relocation Specialist. It is the shade that I have on the center of my lids and then tapped onto the black lipstick to create this really nice beetle inspired makeup look. Now I am a notoriously morbid affiliate. Did they ask me to create this look? No, it was actually one of you guys who asked me on my Instagram if I would recreate a tutorial for this look. So I did. What being an affiliate means to me is posting more makeup looks and playing with more makeup and what it means for you guys is that you get to use my discount code ARFIA333 for a 15% discount on your entire order. So if you are interested in Notoriously Morbid and their products I would highly recommend you checking them out. I really love them otherwise I would not be a affiliate for them at all. Um, so yeah without further ado let's get started. Because we're working with loose shadows, I start with my eyeshadows and I, as for usual, apply my Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lids before taking a really nice and opaque white base. This color is It's the White Hats by Notoriously Morbid and I'm applying it with a big fluffy brush by Real Techniques. Then we are taking Groovy from the Notoriously Morbid Vanishing Cabinet of May. This is a really nice shimmery blue-green shade. It is darker than the other shade we're gonna be using and I will leave some alternatives for this shade in the description box. And basically you want to create the outer shape with it so you can kinda go onto the lid and blend it outwards. I apply most of the product in my crease and work it out. Then I am taking one of the most gorgeous green colors ever. This is called Asset Relocation Specialist and this reminds me of beetles. We're gonna apply this on top of some notoriously morbid shadow insurance and you're gonna apply a tiny bit of this on your hand, tap with your finger and then apply it with your finger onto your lid. You can of course also use a brush but with this I am sure that I'm not applying too much and on top of this you're gonna pat the eye eyeshadow so you really get this really vibrant and intense shimmery shades that this has. Then you want to take a small brush and put it directly into the shadow bind and start applying the eyeshadow with the tiny brush underneath your lash line. Be sure to apply more shadow bind as you go along because this will make the shimmer actually stand out of the shades. Finally you want to blend a teeny tiny bit of groovy underneath your lash line as well just to make everything tie in together. On camera this looks a bit patchy but I can assure you in real life it is not and if you have have any fallout just wipe it off with a big fluffy brush. The next step for me is filling in my eyebrows and I use a matte black eyeshadow by Sugar Pill for this and an eyebrow brush. Now I also applied eyeliner, I tight lined my eyes with a black cold pencil and I applied fake lashes as well as mascara. But because I was bent over so much towards my mirror you cannot see a single thing of what I'm doing. So I'm very sorry but just apply your eyeliner as you usually would, make it a really nice and big wing, apply a tight line with some gold pencil, apply mascara and if you want to you can of course also wear fake lashes. I love wearing fake lashes with these looks because it immediately intensifies the look. In the meantime I've applied my foundation, contour and highlight and set everything with a setting powder and now it is time to make your lips nice and black. I am using Rune by Notoriously Morbid which is a gorgeous black shade. You can use any black lipstick or black liquid to matte lipstick you have. The shape should be however you like your lips to be. I messed up a tiny bit so I corrected it afterwards but as long as you have a nice black base you should be fine. And finally you want to to use a fluffy brush and the pigment of your choice I am using Asset Relocation Specialist and start applying this onto your lips. Now it is important that you use a tapping motion at first and then at the end only start blending it out otherwise you might create patchiness or even rub off your original lipstick. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Most of the shades that I have used today are by Notoriously Morbid. Of course, the showstopper of this look is this gorgeous shade. It is called Asset Relocation Specialist. It was part of the June Vanishing Cabinet of last year. What this means is that it's very hard to find this exact shade again, but I will try to put some alternatives for this shade that are available in the description box. Of course, I will also be leaving the link to Notoriously Morbid of who I am a affiliate. This does not mean that they ask me to create tutorials. It's actually you guys who ask me for tutorials. So people commenting on my videos on my Instagram. So if you ever see a makeup look that you enjoy, don't hesitate to ask me to create a makeup tutorial. And most of the time don't do it, but I am able to do sometimes recreate it afterwards as I did today. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make new videos every week and I would love to have you here for every single one of them. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!